I'm Ashley Mulcahy. I'm a mezzo soprano. And I'm James Peretta, and I play the viol. Lyrical is an ensemble focused on music for voice and the viol. We founded the group in 2018, sort of out of a desire to play with each other more. We do have this shared interest in things that kind of feel experimental or exploratory, and this practice of one voice, one vial is, is very much that. The way that the vial is set up, having more strings and having frets, uh, makes it so that you can more easily play chords on the instrument. So I, the way that I approach this music is almost more like uh, a guitar or a lute player rather than a cellist, strictly. You know, it can be so fun and so moving or so serious. My heart really lives in the 17th century. to figure out more about voice and viol and at-home music making 
in the Massachusetts Bay Colony, we looked at some primary sources, and one of those were probate records from 1630 to 1730. The people who owned vials tended to be either you know, middle class craftspeople or wealthier government officials or clergy or other professionals. And the people that would have been living in this home matched that profile really well. As best we know, there were few, if any, string instrument makers in the Massachusetts Bay Colony during the 1600s. And there also wasn't really a music publishing industry. The publishing industry in England at the time was dominated by John Playford. That music that was getting shipped over would have been his publications. The pieces that we recorded for this session come from various volumes of, of his. We really wanted to use this opportunity to use a structure already in place in our community to explore at-home music making from a historic perspective. Being able to make this music is kind of preventing us from going totally nuts in the midst of the pandemic. <laughs> That's so true. Because, you know, we used to be able to go out and, and do things and see people, and that largely is not happening anymore, except with, you know, very sparingly and with lots of restrictions. But, you know, when we're at home with each other all the time, it's nice to be able to, to still have music. project was really a desire to connect what we're doing right now, which is making music in our apartment, to a, a larger narrative. Really, most of the music that people make throughout the history of humanity is in their homes for fun. And like being able to sort of rediscover that has, has really, really been exciting. <laughs>